Glad they got a clean start there. There was noise in the crowd. So, lane four is Carson Vorholm, the world record holder. He's moving up along the Frenchman beside him. Has he taken Wilfred Happio with him? Carson Vorholm already up on Capello, the silver medalist from last year round. But Carson Vorholm was winning the world championships at the halfway point and then he faded drastically in the closing stages. He says he's a little bit bitter. Is Carsten Vorholm able to retain his title here in Munich? He's looking good. He has just two hurdles just left to go. The world record holder striding away. He is fully fit. He said he was. And Carsten Vorholm knows his body. He knows the level he can perform at. It is a massive victory for Carsten Vorholm. He sends a message to the rest of the world. 47-12. Carsten Vorholm is back to winning ways. So good finish from Wilfred Happio as well. He was lost in the pack somewhat as he moved into the home straight. The Frenchman just managing to separate himself for that silver medal. But well done, Carsten Vorholm. That will mean a tremendous amount to him and his coaching team. Amandine Lul, who was in the women's 400 metres hurdles final, coming over to congratulate him. Wilfred Happio. Well, more than a second, almost a second and a half behind him. Carson Warholm also smashing the world record as it was then by Harold Schmid of 47.48, which was then the championship record that has stood since 1982. Now, it's still waiting for confirmation of the bronze. I have a feeling that that fast finish by Joshua Abuaku might well have got him on the podium but we'll wait for confirmation because it was blanket finished by about three or four men Papio's been separated out from the pack and given the silver medal but what a run by Warholm and as you were saying Hannah he absolutely is right back at the very top of his possession we're looking forward now for him to go on from here to go on to the Diamond League final and go up against the likes of Dos Santos of Brazil and Rai Benjamin. There will be a huge roar from the local crowd if this bronze medal goes for Germany. They're waiting patiently. I heard a groan. I don't know what that means. Oh. This would be the only, well, the first medal of the session for Germany. Some other nations have done superbly well. Well, Abuaku. Oh, it's gone to Capello. Oh, OK. All right, must have been a real blanket finish for third and fourth. And fifth, for long being given the fourth place. Capello, silver last time, this time bronze. Personal best for the German in fifth place in the end. The Turkish team looked so relieved, about as relieved as they looked when their 4x100 team did manage to sneak themselves into the final, having that dramatic rerun on their end on the end of the morning session. Bit of Turkish delight going on down there, but Karsten Vorholm. I think there's going to be a lot of fans around the world very pleased to see the Norwegian back to winning ways. And like you said quite rightly, Phil mentioned we've got a few one-day spectacular events coming up. It'd be brilliant to see Karsten Vorholm pitched against Alison De Santos, Rai Benjamin, Trevor Bassett, see if how he how a fully fit 2022 Carson Vorholm matches up against Alison De Santos, who's made such brilliant progress this year. What a treat. But so so difficult to come back from that injury weeks out from the world championships. You just knew he'd give 100 percent though. But I was talking to the uh, British Bond and heard of Chris McAllister who said that getting an injury so close to a championship, it's a really tough mental place to be in to try and summon the strength to really give it your all. Wow, look at that finish though between uh, Vajant Capello and Abueku, but uh, Capello completing the set of medals, gold, silver and bronze in that order from 2016 to this year. Relentless, no stopping Carsten Warholm.
And he's on an upward trajectory at the moment. He's basically raced himself fit here in Munich. The press conference 